1954, between 1954 and 57. I think the children had more respect. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of respect for our parents. Uh, we said yes ma'am and no ma'am. We didn't have no, like today, they have computers and have all uh, cell phones and so forth. We didn't have that. I think we got our first television. Uh, we got our, my uncle, which lived down the street from us on 11th Street. He was the first one that had a TV in his home. And then one of my uncles, he had a TV. We didn't have a TV. We listened to radio. We was in a little small shotgun house. Uh, it had three rooms. Uh, the, the kids then, we were more closely knitted mm -hmm. to a certain degree. You take care of me, I take care of you. If we leave the house, we never locked up the homes. As far as I know, we never did. If you leave, whomever watched your house. Mm -hmm. um, we played together. Sure, we had our down times, but we still had a, that knitted uh, feeling about each other. Uh, and then mm -hmm. there wasn't no, uh, to me, now it might have been with someone else, um, you know, if you're white, we don't need you around. We played together. Right. We, we had fun together. So I think that when it comes to that, that neighborhood thing, mm -hmm. we got along real well, I felt. Do you think um, the decision really had any impact? And uh, Go ahead. I think it did. Okay. I think it woke up people. It woke up people to the fact that you're not any better than I am. Mm -hmm. When I read that information about how that, uh, in one thing, in that information here in Topeka, they had put a class in a bathroom. They fixed this bathroom up and so that they can have kids in this bathroom and teachers taught in that bathroom, all blacks. In what school? Um, it didn't say what school it was, but you can have that if you want it. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, uh, community uh, church here in Topeka, it started a kindergarten class, and it's in there, of all black students. Mm -hmm. I think it was six or seven girls and two or three boys. and. Uh, I think when this Brown versus the Board of Education started, it really helped out here in Topeka, mm -hmm. but it just spread out like a, a, you know, like when you throw a pebble in water, just ripples just go out. I think that really helped. And, but the, the thing that, that gets me is that uh, the kids today, they're not like the kids of yesterday. Right. And, that's, that's what I feel. The kids today and the kids yesterday, we didn't have what they had. Uh, we played, uh, one thing I never did understand, my mother would say to us, go out and sweep the yard. Mm -hmm. I never did get that until I was grown. We swept the dirt in piles and it's so the dust wouldn't get back into the house, so we had to sweep it up. We said yes ma'am and no ma'am. If we didn't, we were punished. We shared, you go across the street and get some sugar from so-and-so and bring it back to me and then vice versa, eggs and so forth. Mm -hmm. The kids, they don't do that. The kids today, they don't say yes ma'am, they don't say no ma'am. Uh, um, they, their attitudes are different. Mm -hmm. uh, I teach teenagers in uh, Sunday school and some things that they don't know. They just don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't know about yesterday. Right. Or they don't know about the past. Or back in the day, they just don't know. So you bring them up to speed. Oh, we didn't have a telephone. We had Flanders 4775. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what it was. It sounds like there's a a sense of loss of community in your mind. Right. Do you feel there's any way for us to get that back? I think it is. It's going to take some time. And it's because 
I think the young people, uh, they need something to grab hold to, and it's almost lost. Mm -hmm. And so I think if we would pull together and become one, I think we would go further. I think we would do better. And I'm not talking about just blacks. I'm talking about the blacks and the whites and the Mexicans and so on. If we pull together, we'll be very strong. Mm -hmm. In this city, uh, which is a nice city, uh, the city of Topeka is a good city, but there's those, uh, going back to those, those pockets, and we still have those pockets, but they're not like they were, were back then. Mm -hmm. They're different, but they're there. We were more closely knitted together. Uh, I would use an Afghan. An Afghan, when you make it, you use a scheme, then you hook on another scheme, and you can mix the colors in the scheme. If you cut one part of that afghan, the whole, the whole afghan does not come apart. You just mend it back together. I think that's the way we have to be. The one thing you would do to change community, to change these pockets, um, what would it be? You could have anything you want. What, what do you think that would be? To change the mindset of the young people. Okay. That they would take an inward look at themselves and tell themselves that I can do better than what I have been. Mm -hmm. And let them know that there's a future, but that future depends on them and how they react to what they're gonna face when they come face to face, which whatever it may be, and uh, stand up to you.